Hey, hey Hawks. Hawks. My name's Grace Chu. And I'm Zane Zilo. And you're watching Hawk, Hawk Talk. Talk. Hey Grace, you know what happens when a groundhog sees its shadow? Does the world end? Probably. Actually, I'm pretty sure if it sees its shadow, our sports teams have a 99% chance of winning their next games. Hey Hawks, I'm Maggie Grijalva and welcome back to Jock Talk. Today I'm here with Emma and Rachel from our CIF cheer team and we're here to ask them a few questions. First off, I want to congratulate you guys both on CIF. What was the energy like at the competition, whether it was just the environment of the entire thing or your team individually, what was that like? When we're getting ready to get on the mat and actually put our routine forward, we have a lot of nerves pent up, but we always do a chant together and we go like, you know, three, two, one Hawks and we get ready to get on the mat and once we're actually performing all those nerves go away because we're just there to do what we've been training to do it just feels amazing after we finish it because we're like wow we really just put like our whole heart and soul into that how has cheer impacted each of your individual lives well i've been doing cheer for about like 11 years now so it's been my whole life it's been what i like use to like escape from my everyday life it makes me really happy and all, I've met all my friends during cheer. For me, I'm actually, I'm kind of new to cheer. I've only been in it for three years since sophomore year. Being able to learn more about the sport and work together with the whole team, we all just come together for one passion and it's really cool to see. Congratulations again on CIF and it was great talking with both of you. I'm Maggie Grijalva and this has been Jock Talk. What's up Hawks? My name is Thomas Shine. Uh, this is me at Diane and you're watching Jock Talk. Right now, these two girls are on the song team. Uh, how do you guys like it so far? Yeah, it's been really nice. I think there's definitely been some ups and downs, but I'm really proud of my team. And I'm really happy that we're holding up. It's one of our toughest years, but I think we've grown stronger as a team, and I love all of them. Uh, what activities are you associated with at Eldo? Over the summer, we get to learn routines, so we get to showcase that for rallies and for football season. We perform at the Aloha, Homecoming, and Prom Rally, so stay tuned for prom. Football season is one of my favorite parts about song. Having the student section cheer for you while you're dancing is one of the best feelings. What do you think it takes to be a good song leader? I would say it takes determination and perseverance um, to work hard for yourself, but also for your team. Yeah, also you definitely have to be cheery and happy and peppy because we're always supporting other teams and our school, so we want to showcase our spirit. Uh, this was Mia and Diane from uh, Song. My name is Thomas Shine, and you just watched Jock Talk. Well, the world didn't end, and that means the reflection entries were destroyed. I love reflections, like mirrors and disco balls, right? We're talking about art, not mirrors. Art's cool, too. Anyways, let's check it out. This year, 97 students participated in the PTSA Annual 2022-2023 Reflections Contest with the theme Show Your Voice. The different categories include film production, music composition, photography, and visual arts. The following students had their entries selected to move up to the PYL UC Council level of the competition. Kendra Livergood, Skylar Snyder, Jason Van Ginkle, and Fernando Nunez moved on in the film production category. Joshua Encarnacion moved on in the music composition category, and his music is playing in the background of the segment. Naomi Campos, Liver Ravaretta, and Sophia Mayer moved on in the photography category. Jaden Kim, Augustine Hartman, and Talia Van Winkle moved on in the visual arts category. Special congratulations to Liver Ravaretta, Kendra Livergood, Fernando Nunez, and Joshua Encarnacion, who took first place in each category. Their projects will be displayed at the 4th District Gallery Exhibit and Awards on February 11th. Great job, Hawks! Those pieces were pretty awesome. Didn't we make that joke already? They don't need to know that. Well, what's wrong with just saying extra A's? We have two upcoming community service opportunities. Sham Rock and Run on Sunday, May 14th, and the PYL GSA Snack Shack every Saturday in March and April. Join us for a fun-filled night and friendly class competition on February 24th in the Joe Raya Gym. Doors open at 6 p.m. Wear your class colors for entry to the assembly. ASB students are selling B and C tickets for $10. Everyone is welcome to attend. Make-A-Wish is holding a fundraiser from February 1st through February 23rd. You can bring in your donation to any of your teachers. PTSA and Revolution Prep have partnered to offer an online practice test for the SAT or ACT on Saturday, February 4th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Register on El Dorado High School partner page. Congrats to our mock child team for competing in the county finals this week. Great job, Hawks. Hey, Hawks. It's Reese. And Thomas. And now that January's over, let's pick another birthday of the month.
Congrats to Isabella Hernandez. We'll see you Woo! soon. Woo! Yeah. And you say Shy City. Shy City. Shy City. I'm coming home again. Okay, I've been wondering all episode, what is Groundhog Day? A groundhog comes out of the ground. To do what? Is there only one groundhog in existence? How do we know he's credible? And do we follow the same one every single year? I don't want to get political, but yes. Well, that's all the time we have this week. We'll see you next time. Go, Go Hawks! Hawks.